All right, so uh, for uh, this uh, lab four is about constructors and destructors. So essentially what uh, we're going to ask you over here to do is to simply uh, create a class and make sure that this class uh, uh, takes care of its resources after um, it's created and it's gone. So essentially uh, after it's created and before it's gone. Um, so uh, for the lab part, we are uh, creating a class. We call it a seat. Um, a seat class essentially identifies one seat inside the, the, uh, this airplane. So um, if we look at uh, this image over here, for example, if this is a seat over here that I'm identifying, it's going to be row 22 and it's going to be seat number D. So that's 22D. Uh, where that value, like if I have over here something like 4D, that's uh, an embedded seat. In here, um, the seat numbers are different. So you have to take a look at all the uh, numberings that we have uh, for the airplane and uh, adjust it accordingly um, and validate it accordingly. So <clears throat> uh, to point it out, See, uh, valid seat numbers are from 1 to 4, 7 to 15, and 20 to 38. Anything else is invalid. And the uh, seat letters for rows from 0 to 1 is A, B, and E, F. There is no C and D. But from 0, 7 to 38, it's A, B, C, D, uh, E, and F. Uh, um, are we good with this thing? Are we okay? Um, Yep. Yeah. You can leave so your mic. You can leave your microphone on because it's, it's just you and I. And uh, I see Nerison is just sitting over there quietly. So, uh, so uh, the attributes of the class um, to to be to make sure that you need to have a constructor over here. We are setting. We are holding the passenger dynamically. Passenger name. So essentially, the name of the passenger in the seat is held by character pointer and uh, uh, the row number and uh, the row number as an integer and um, the, the letter of the seat of, of a character. And I give you an example. For example, uh, a valid value over here could be like Roger Waters and 14A. So these are the, uh, the, the uh, name of the person and the uh, seat number and the letter of the number. This class requires a private method. The private method validate validates the enforcements that we had for the seat numbers. So again, rows 1 to 4, 7 to 15, 3rd, 20 to 38 are valid. If the seat number is between 1 and 4, it's a, uh, it's a, B, E, and F. And if it's the rest, it's A, B, C, D, E, F. So if these categories are met, validate returns true. Uh, otherwise, it returns false, and we're going to make sure that this uh, function does not change the contents of the class. Should the second parameter be a char? Yes, it is. So let me fix it. And that's why we have this thing. Uh, thank you very much for seeing it. Let, give me a second. Let me actually bring it up and edit it as we go through it. So read me file. Just a second. Copy. And four and paste. You know what? I'm going to actually open this one with my editor so we can actually fix it as we go through it. So let's bring this up. I'm going to close this down. All right, so let me bring this, make it bigger. And we were here. Quite frankly, it wouldn't matter if it was an integer, but... Uh, yeah, I was curious. When yeah, I was yeah, but I'll make it a character. It is better to be precise, so that's character letter so perfect thank you all right so um 
uh, we're going to do the uh, so that's the the validation that we're going to do and thank you very much for the correction so that is fixed now um, uh, actually it's a good idea to add the version over here one point one uh, corrections during okay so so now we are here where is it there you go so the next thing is the function allocate and copy now this uh, function allocate and copy its job is to do allocation because we may want we may want to do this several times so we create this function as a private member and we're gonna uh, reuse it whenever we want to allocate and copy uh, values so uh, what it does essentially is that the allocate and copy first of all makes sure that the the passenger name uh, attribute is uh, uh, is um, uh, it doesn't make sure but it, it when it's over if the the allocation is successful the passenger name will have a dynamic copy of what we have in a string and if the allocation is not successful for validation reasons or whatever we're going to go through it has to make sure that the passenger name is left as null ptr so we know that the allocation failed so um, essentially what it does when allocation and copy when str comes in it first uh, makes sure that the the string is first of all actually pointing to somewhere so if it's a null pointer uh, allocation will not happen and also if it's not null it has to make sure that there is something in it which means it's not an empty string so two things have to happen this thing either should not it should not be null and it should not uh, be empty if uh, these two things passes which means it actually points to some data some somewhere then using uh, string like we're going to find out what is the length allocate memory plus uh, to, to the string length of string plus one and keep the address in the passenger name therefore now passenger name has enough memory to be able to hold the string and that's when we copy a string into the newly allocated memory and and we are done at the end of the function we return the reference of the current object in case we want to do cascading uh, after this and uh, um, make the code smaller uh, okay. that would that would be returning this Re not this returning target of this so the star this no star this you never say star target of okay okay Star, but the star, syntax. I know, I know. Syntax, syntax, syntax star this, but the proper way okay. of saying it is target of this. Okay. And this is a pointer to the current object, obviously. Okay, now we're going to go to the public functions. We have a, a, a reset function. Uh, the reset function essentially resets the, uh, the seat back to uh, uh, an empty invalid seat, a seat that is in a in an in an uh, safe empty state so it deletes the passenger name then it sets it to null and sets everything else to zero and at the end again it returns the reference of the current object which is target of this the is empty uh, returns true if the object is empty a safe way of doing this is to just to check and see if the uh, passenger name pointer is null or not. If it's null, it's empty. If it's not, it is not empty. Uh, to see if the seat is assigned or not, uh, what we need to do, we need to get the row and the letter we are keeping inside the... Uh, we, we should get the row and the letter we are keeping inside the, uh, the class and validate it if the validation returns true it means the seat is assigned otherwise seat is not assigned so that's what it's going to do essentially it's a call to a valid to uh, validation it's another name for validating the um, the seat inside the class and obviously it doesn't change the content of the current object for the constructors and destructors, uh, we have uh, <coughs> uh, a default constructor which essentially resets the object. 
so we know what reset is it's puts puts it in a safe empty state so it uh, calls a reset uh, we have a one argument constructor that first resets the object and then does the allocation and copying for the passenger name we have a three argument constructor that uh, first resets then sets uh, as the sets uh, does the allocation and copy and then it sets the row and the letter of the of the seat to to the ones that are coming in but it has to make sure that it reuses code so we're going to see later on over here we have a set so it has to use that function to make sure if there is any validation that is being done um, for the destructor it deallocates the memory um, so when uh, the object is out of scope it's not going to uh, lose any memory so the modifiers and the query methods uh, the first modifier that we have is set uh, the set function what it does it first validates the row and letter that are coming in if the validation is okay it sets them out otherwise it sets them both to zero uh, sets the attributes to zero so if set fails in any way uh, if row and letter are not validated uh, essentially uh, a seat is not going to be assigned it's going to be an unassigned seat the row and letter are queries that return the row and letter of the of the uh, the class obviously uh, so if we want to know what is the row and what is the letter of the current uh, seat we can get it with that and another query is the passenger name so it simply returns the the address of the passenger name and uh, uh, we can find out what is the name of a passenger of this object uh, we're good down to this point yeah that's all right so. All right, so let's go for input and output. Uh, so input and output, the the, uh, the format of the uh, of the display and read methods are somewhat strange. Um, this is uh, what we need to get used to to create anything that displays an object on console uh, or reads an object from console. So this type of signature should be. Uh, kind of habit for you the good thing about this uh, object uh, this function is that later on we'll find out later in the semester that the function for display that is written like this is easily upgradable we don't know what the meaning of that is but we'll find out later on the display can be used just as a simple function <clears throat> just if they say display and don't pass any arguments automatically it would receive the C out so therefore it's going to print on a on the screen and later on we're going to find out that we can actually redirect the display to other devices by doing something like this because all the devices that we have they are kind of O streams we have an O stream that is a screen we have another type of output stream that is for file we have an output stream that is for errors output stream for logs so we have different types of output streams but they are all kind of O streams so this display can re be reused for every single one of them so uh, what the display is going to do is that um, it has to because the the, the name of the uh, passenger could be much longer than the space it wants to print which is 40 characters it should create a local variable and copy the first 41 characters of the first 40 characters of the name inside that local thing and print that one instead so it kind of truncates the uh, truncates the name when printing without actually modifying the, the 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 name itself if you have other ways of doing it you can do it obviously you can write a custom made uh, function that prints the characters one by one up to 40 and stops if it's now your choice what you want to do but like this it's easier because you can use all the formatting and whatever you want from the system so the um, the name is printed in 40 characters and the empty spaces are filled with dots it's left justified and uh, the mm, mm, and that's it yeah so that's that and this one doesn't have any formatting whatever the number is it's going to get printed as is so you don't need to set it to anything so the only thing that gets formatted is the name obviously at the end the see out reference is returned at the end of display so we can have cascading effect 
uh, questions about the output are we good with the output I think so. all right for the read uh, um, oh, and if uh, uh, um, the output has some things that we have to go through so if it's not m if it is empty we don't print anything we just simply say invalid seat and put an exclamation mark and we just uh, be with that and that's it so uh, that's uh, the behavior of display if the object is not is not set and it's an invalid object before uh, and uh, it uh, uh, will print only invalid seat for reading uh, what we do because uh, we know by fact that the data that we are receiving the the name of uh, uh, um, a passenger cannot be more than 70 characters we're gonna create a local array of 71 characters and read the uh, the name into that 71 characters using get line up to comma so we essentially read the name and put it in a t uh, in that local variable of 70 characters then we simply read the uh, the row into an into an uh, integer and letter into a character and then we ignore the backslash and at the end and then we'll check and see if all these processes went proper so the reading of the name uh, the skipping of the comma um, the the uh, seat number being read, the letter, we check all those things using the failure uh, flag of CN. So we uh, check the CN references fail flag to see if it's failed or not. If it is not failed, it means everything was read successfully. So we allocate and copy the uh, value we read into the buffer, uh, into the uh, read into the properties of the of the of the class and then if the uh, object is still not empty because it might be an empty string so we have to make sure that if it's empty we don't set the seat because then it's uh, um, invalid name so if the allocation and copying was successful and the object is not empty then uh, we uh, set the row and uh, and then and the, and the letter using the set function and at the end we are going to return the reference of C uh, are we good with this mm, yeah for now for now I know that's okay but that's that's the idea of the thing so uh, later on uh, uh, if I'm your professor you ask me or you ask your own professors for help if anything is anyways so the tester program first tests the seat class by itself then it uh, lists the seat bookings from a file so what happens is that it uh, uh, to test the seat it goes through all the possibilities of uh, the seat being valid or invalid with all the uh, display thingies that it have so it set checks them one by one uh, the output essentially will be something like this um, just a second so the output should be something like this so um, it tests everything and tells you exactly what it's supposed to be so it has to match exactly to this one so it says seats not assigned this one has a signed seat so it tells exactly how this one is supposed to be and uh, then after it's done it checks your reading by asking you to enter this when you are uh, if you are on windows you can just highlight and hit enter and that uh, uh, saves it into the clipboard then you right click on the mouse and it just prints it out so you don't have to reprint it if you are on matrix and putty just highlighting it without without hitting the enter will copy it into clipboard so you don't all the data that you are receiving is not so you don't need to uh, enter it manually you just copy and paste and hit enter and then it reads all the information from the file and prints them all out uh, if the seat numbers are invalid it's going to show them and uh, it goes through every single thing that we have in the in the file uh, and uh, that's it uh, that's going to be the end of the test for uh, the lab section um, are we good mm -hmm. all right uh, and the next one 
the DIY section is kind of the opposite, not opposite, it's, it's very similar to what you had in the lab, but the difference is that the seat over here is called uh, uh, tour passenger. So essentially we have a tour, we have a, we have a tour bus uh, that um, does daily bus tours in a city. Um, and when it reaches to certain capacity, it can start, uh, the, the tour can start. We already have the tour passenger uh, with all the specifications and everything that it needs to have. So um, with what you see over here, you can uh, you can use this to write your tour bus class. But if you want to add anything to the class, by all means you can. So you can change this to whatever, whatever you want if it suits you, but as is, it's sufficient to work. So your task is to create with one C, not two Cs, to create a module slash class called tour bus that's going to encapsulate a tour bus carrying passengers uh, for a city tour and um, uh, the, uh, the catch over here is that uh, the bus it will have an array of tour passengers inside of it but that has to be done dynamically you cannot do it uh, with a statically allocated memory so that's what you need to do and a bus comes in three sizes four passenger that is a private tour uh, we have a 16 passenger mini bus tour and uh, we have a 22 passengers full size bus and any try to create any try let me just bring this down so it doesn't go after that yeah there you go so any uh, attempt to create the tour bus with, uh, in, in the constructor without these three values should render the the bus into an invalid state so the bus can only get created with three values 4 16 or 22 well, what a bus needs to do should be able to get created uh, by the number of passengers it can carry that is 4 16 and 22 uh, it should be able to uh, return if it's valid or not and it's called valid tour so these functions are mandatory these are what the, the main application is using. Other than this, you can do anything you want. <coughs> so valid tour. Uh, a, a tour bus should be able to board passengers by using the uh, by using their tickets when they're entering by using their tickets when entering to the bus. This uh, should be done using a called method called board. So the board method essentially uh, gets the looks at the bus to see first of all what is what are the number what kind of a bus it is. It's a four passenger, sixteen or twenty two, and based on that, it's going to go through a loop and one by one fill the passengers, uh, uh, fill the uh, elements, uh, set the elements of the. Uh, uh, passenger, tour passenger, uh, using uh, uh, the issue function in here. So the issue function essentially issues a ticket. It gets the name and automatically sets a ticket number. So it simply calls the f the, the issue uh, function one by one, and using okay. the issue function, um, it will receive the name of each passenger and uh, will be completed uh, when it's done. Um, uh, the start uh, the tour method uh, start the tour method what it does it's uh, uh, essentially first of all make sure that this is a valid bus then if everyone is boarded and um, uh, the uh, passengers are set then it's going to say starting the tour and list all the passengers names so uh, it's going to go like this. So it's going to say starting a tour and list all the passenger names and the ticket numbers. Um, and if the passengers are not boarded, it's going to say cannot start the tour and uh, the bus is not fully boarded. The tester program for it works like this. It has a function called depart. Depart receives a constant uh, reference of a tour bus and checks to see if it's valid. If it's valid, it's going to start the tour. That's all it's going to do. It seems redundant over here because um, we said that the, uh, the valid thingy over here is going to say cannot start the tour, but that's uh, how the depart works. And uh, 
we don't care because this program is written by another uh, programmer and uh, it just needs to make sure that we just need to make sure that our uh, required methods are functional um, then to test the program I give you the, the the values one by one to to enter so you s copy these values one by one and uh, it essentially goes through the uh, the your uh, uh, tour bus uh, class and see if your tour bus class actually is working the way it's supposed to so it displays it's compiling there we go so so it actually runs like this and uh, let me just uh, bring it over here and this one over here all right so um, as you see it says place enter the passenger uh, name uh, number of passengers and one by one you're gonna enter these values so you're gonna start by hundred and obviously it's an invalid tour bus then you're gonna put ten that's another invalid one you put uh, 22 now it's gonna say cannot be we are testing the start of the tour so we create a, um, uh, 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 um, a tour bus with 22 uh, passengers and we try to start it without boarding it and now we're gonna make it 16 same thing and when we do four we actually board first so now it's gonna actually ask for boarding the the tour and uh, it's going to be John Doe, Jane Doe, maybe it's faster to, to type it, but Jack Doe, and Jill Doe, and now it says because uh, the boss is full it actually can start the tour and shows all the uh, all the clients one by one all the passengers one by one and their ticket numbers and that's the end of the DIY section um, are we good yeah there's no um, sample output for DU um, for oh, the DIY DIY doesn't have a sample okay there you go well I'm gonna do it right now that's an easy one I shouldn't have closed it uh, actually i think i have it somewhere mm, give me a second i'm just gonna let me run it again so 100 10 22 16 4 john doe jane doe jack doe and jill and control A, copy. <coughs> and here's the execution sample for that. Let me remove these and save that. And there's the execution sample. Okay, uh, thank you for remind me reminding me of that too um, Thank you. <laughs> anything else that anything that uh, uh, James you want to know and Marison is pretty quiet yeah not at the moment all right. I'm okay all right okay so that's uh, workshop four I tried to make it as easy as possible so this one is not going to be as painful uh, that's it have yourself a beautiful day and uh, uh, see you later okay thank you bye